Hello and welcome to the GeoPoker channel. Hope you're doing well. I don't know whether or not you can hear it, but I treated myself to a new microphone. And uh, I hope that that will make the sound quality a bit better and resolve some uh, minor sound issues that I've had so far. And uh, today we're gonna play an urban world, no moving, panning or zooming. So it comes in convenient that uh, I got a new microphone because visually there won't be too much for you to look at so you will have to focus all the more on my babbling and yeah I say we get right into it let me just adjust the settings no moving no panning no zooming and of course we're going to play it as a challenge link is in the description and here we go okay um, I would really really like to zoom into that but honestly I think if I can just get closer to the screen I might be able to read that just a second well I can read it technically but I, I can't like, I, I don't speak the language so it's kind of pointless it, it's an Eastern European country um, uh, let me just look at that a bit more I think it might be it could be Poland it could be Czechia it could also be um, Croatia Th I'm not sure that doesn't quite look like Croatia in my opinion um, let me just look at that one more time Yeah, I think that looks like Czech. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but um, you know the, the the kinds of um, diacritics that you can see on top of the letters that looks like the ones that you would find in Czechia. So let's look at Czechia on the map. Uh, there is a good chance we're in Prague. Um, there's a pretty good chance. Uh, pretty central also I mean there are some stores here for sure there's an ATM uh, it's not bang on in the center for sure it's more of a residential area but one that is reasonably close to the center um, you know something like this up here for example um, of course here we have a tram so this is not exactly where we are but it could be uh, a little intersection like I don't know this one right here for example um, so I think I'm just gonna give that a shot and find out that it was actually Bratislava okay um, in my defense uh, the two languages so Czech and Slovakian are extremely similar I don't even know if you can distinguish them just by the script um, though admittedly the amount of more modern buildings probably didn't speak for Prague so um, yeah and Bratislava this is a place I've actually been to it's a, a cute little town actually and I am pretty sure that I have been maybe even on that street I've definitely walked down the street towards the city center may have also been here um, okay there we go Bratislava um, pretty good start though ah I wish I would have thought about those uh, modern buildings a bit more, but nonetheless, I'm quite happy with that. Second round looks like South America. Does it not? Okay, let's see. We are driving on. Well, what is what side of the road are we driving on? I can't really see. We all of these cars seem to be going in the same direction. Whoops. Um, it's definitely a very um, warm probably tropical climate judging from the trees that we see around um, let me just get closer to the screen again and try to see which side the steering wheel is on in this car yeah it appears to be on the left meaning that we are driving on the right um, that at least rules out some um, Southeast Asian countries because 
see the thing is like we could be in South America but we could also be in Southeast Asia that's another option and oh this is a tough one I'm not sure I'm not sure um, what does it say on that street sign Ah, uh, I can't really read it. It says something Dr. Vinga, Venga, something like that. Uh, that's a tough one. This is a really tough one. Um, yeah, it's extremely annoying that we cannot see any writing. And yeah, this, I mean, it is Latin for sure. It's Latin script, um, which might rule out, you know, places like... I don't know, Thailand or something. But it still leaves a lot of options both in South America and Southeast Asia. Uh, what else do we have? Um, the cars. Mm, we have a Fiat here. I think this is... I'm not entirely sure. A lot of these seem to be ja damn it, Japanese brands. I think that might be a BMW. Not sure if I can do much with that information. Um, these buildings here, they look more South American than Southeast Asian to me, to be honest. Um, yeah, just the, the, the architecture, it, it doesn't quite strike me as Southeast Asian. Um, yeah, so I think for me, that's it. I think it's the buildings. It's the kind of architecture that we see here also on this building that makes me think, no, we are in South America, but whereabouts are we? Um, I think Brazil is definitely a strong contender. Um, I wouldn't rule out Argentina or Uruguay. Of course, also Ecuador might be an option. Um, but I think, uh, am I going to go for Brazil? I mean, the license plates in Brazil are white, like in most South American countries. They do have that blue stripe at the, at the top of the license plate in Brazil. But again, I think we're just a little bit too far. This is the problem with not being able to zoom in. I mean... I don't think I see a blue stripe here, but here, mm, maybe, mm, very hard to tell. I think I'm going to go for Brazil here, though, and I'm going to go not into Sao Paulo, maybe, I don't know, I mean, it is slightly mountainous here. I mean, it's not completely flat, right? So... Maybe down here in Porto Alegre. We have a l few little mountains here. Um, this street is heading north-south. And um, I'm just going to find a little intersection that fits here with the situation. Maybe around here. And there we go. It was actually Sao Paulo. <laughs> oh, no. oh, man. No, I should have gone for that. That's the first place I zoomed into. No. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, I'm not unhappy with this score, but damn it. My first thought was Sao Paulo. It's, uh, ah. Should have gone with that. But it was, in fact, Brazil. So there we go. We could, in fact, not see the blue stripe. Or maybe those were old license plates. I don't know. My knowledge is not that um, firm on South American license plates. But nonetheless... I have managed to get a pretty good score on this round. So let's see what the next one has to offer. It has to offer what I believe is a country in the Mediterranean. Um, it's not Italy, judging from the license plates. Or I don't see the two blue stripes there. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely somewhere in the Mediterranean. So what are the options? Spain, of course, is an option. Um, again, this is just a little bit too far to read, I think. Or right, let me just give it a shot. Uh, no way.
but now that I look at it, are, are there blue stripes on the right side? Again, this is this this is the zooming thing, no? Like it's it's just a little bit too far to really be able to tell, because if it if it wasn't for the license plate, if I just had to judge by the architecture, I would be like, yeah, this is like no brainer. This is totally Italy, right? Um, it was only the license plates that confused me, to be honest. Um, I mean, it is interesting to see that most of these cars are not Italian brands. We have a Peugeot here, a Ford, a Ford, I think another Ford here, a Dacia and a Volkswagen. So mm, probably something that is a bit unusual to see in Italy, but it still doesn't rule it out, does it? Um, I mean, it could also be Southern France, to be fair. Though I don't think these kinds of signs, like this sign in France, it looks different. I think it's a bit smaller. And also that bar, that white bar is a little bit smaller in France. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think this is France. Um, you know what? I think I'm still going to go with Italy here and just assume that we basically are just too far away to see the second stripe because this just looks too much like Italy for me. And I'm going to go ahead and say that this is actually even southern Italy. We are really far down south. Maybe not really far, but definitely in the south. Palermo, Naples, maybe. Mm. I'm going to go for Naples. Maybe Palermo is a bit much. Um, by a bit much, I mean a bit much of a gamble because if we're not in Italy, at least then I'm probably going to be closer if I go into Naples. And it could very well be Naples, to be fair. Uh, we have a little park here towards the west. Uh, let's just look at Naples real quick. Find a cute little park. And um, yeah, why not here? This could be it, no? Hey, there we go. There we go. It was Italy, in fact. Amazing. It was a relatively small town, I would say. I, I honestly have never heard of it. Uh, called uh, Sassari or Sassari. Um, and there's our little park, our public park, our Giardini Pubblici. Hope I pronounced that right. And yeah, well, latitude was certainly spot on and the points were also decent. Um, yeah, so far a good game. Nothing crazy, but I'm relatively happy with it. And now we are, well, I was gonna say Hong Kong. Are we though? I mean, it's either Hong Kong Macau or Taiwan, right? Um, mm, let's see, what do we have? I think the cars and license plates and so on, they can tell us quite a bit. Um, let's see, so in Taiwan they drive on the right. Where are we driving on? Which side of the road? We appear to be driving on the left here, see? This, is this person here with that bike is coming here. Also that car. Um, seems to be driving on the right uh, on the left side of the road and also here the steering wheel is on the right side okay so that rules out taiwan leaves hong kong and macau and let me think i think in macau they have black license plates and if memory serves they do in fact have yellow license plates in hong kong or I don't know if all cars in Hong Kong have yellow license plates, but s I've definitely seen them there before, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that this is Hong Kong. And um, we have the United building in front of us. Not sure if I will find that on the map. Most likely not. But uh, we can still have a quick look. Um, this road is headed... Uh, North, south, we are probably close to the center. There's a big car park here and the United building. Um, let's just see real quick. 
see the these all these buildings have names so i think if we scan the map a little bit we might be able to find the united building actually um let's just see I hear the street grid doesn't really fit. Okay, this might take a while. Okay, this is a very large city. <laughs> I don't know how long it will take to scan all of these buildings. Uh, oh boy, I have a feeling that this is not a sensible way to go about it. Um, I'm sure there's some of you who will scan the entire city and find that building and uh, well done to you. I wish I had that kind of uh, perseverance, uh, but honestly, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try and hope for a very lucky find, but yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna commit to this uh where else could we look maybe down here here the street grid doesn't really fit maybe here let's just give it a quick shot um what is it called united building almost forgot uh yeah this is this is hopeless to be honest um let's just see maybe here Again, here the street grid kind of fits well, but I don't, I don't think there's any hope in finding this within a reasonable time frame. So I am going to click. I think I'm gonna click here. I think here I really like the direction of the streets, and it seems like it's really built up, really central. Um, so maybe an intersection like this one right here this see we even have a garage building here so that might even be it who knows let's give it a shot what the what no way <laughs> there is you know i didn't even see that i just what oh my god Honestly, I didn't even see that. What the hell? Okay, that was that was too lucky. Honestly, I did not deserve that. Uh, but that was probably the best random click I've ever done. I don't know if that's an insane guess because we did have quite a few clues and with enough searching, one would have gotten this spot on anyway. But still, <laughs> just based on the fact that I randomly clicked somewhere... I was insane. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah, 5k that one. Surprisingly. Uh, last round already. Um, what do we have? Uh, sorry, I'm still a bit surprised by that. Um, wh what do we have? We have a Southeast Asian country, I'm pretty sure. Um, we seem to be driving... Well, I was gonna say on the left, but look at those cars there. They seem to be driving on the right, but then these are kind of switching lanes here. Ah, that's a bit weird. Don't quite know what to make of that. This looks like it's a mosque over there, which is a very crucial clue. So that makes me think that we are probably in Malaysia here. I think that's... I mean, and that's not the only option, but Southeast Asia plus um, mosques plus potentially driving on the left side of the road. Um, to me, that implies Malaysia quite strongly. Also, the architecture fits, the foliage fits. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that. I think there's a very good chance we are in Malaysia here. Um, we're obviously not in the city center of Kuala Lumpur or anything like that. It might be an outskirt of a big city. 
it might also be a smaller town. Um, very hard to tell, to be honest. I mean, we do have reasonably nice cars, which makes me think that maybe we're closer to a big city, you know, where you would find more quote-unquote fancy cars, you know, a lot of people working, well-paid office jobs and stuff so i'm gonna close i'm gonna go closer to a large city probably on the um, mainland side of uh, malaysia where i think most of the population lives and probably also i would assume most of the wealth is to be found and somewhere around kuala lumpur again not really in the city but maybe actually uh, a city on the coast maybe a touristy place also I could imagine that we have anything here. What's that? Pahang seems like a very decent option. Um, yeah, why not? Let's try and find a mosque here just for the funsies. And um, okay, so the mosque is in the background. Ah, yeah, but all this, these roads are pretty straight. There seems to be a little bit of a slope here. So. Yeah, this might actually be too flat, to be honest. Um, maybe we're a bit further out. I don't like this. This looks too flat. No, no. I've changed my mind. This place looks too flat. Um, maybe a little bit further north in this town. Does this have a... F ah, this is also flat as a pancake. Um... I don't know why I'm putting so much effort into this. I'm basing this just on this image. We might not even be in Malaysia to begin with. Um, yeah, all of these places are super flat, actually. Um, let's check around Kuala Lumpur. Maybe we actually are closer to that. Ah, it's all incredibly flat. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Maybe we are on the other side. What about this place? Ah, also flat. Okay, I'm not going to waste too much time on this, honestly. Um, I don't think there's any point in um, scanning all of these cities. But here, look at that. That island, that has a little bit of a mountainous landscape. Just enough f to have a little slope like that. And just going to try to find a mosque here to um, calm myself down and then I'll put the marker down. If th How can there not be any mosque here? That's insane. That is very surprising to be honest. Um, come on. Seriously? There's one. Yeah, I like the looks of that. Um, so it is obviously towards the north, so... Mm, how about these buildings are too large? No, I'm sorry, this doesn't fit. I'm gonna go further out. I'm not gonna try to look for a mosque, but I'm gonna try to look for a city quarter, which I think seems about right. Um, yeah, something like this around here. And it was... Oh, it was Indonesia. Oh, will you look at that? Okay. It was Indonesia, it was the city of Balikpapan. And yeah, there we go. Was that even a mosque? Maybe not. At least I don't see any. Ah, maybe it was that one. Hard to tell. But yeah, there we go. Um, bit disappointed about that one. I was pretty sure it was Malaysia, but there we go. Let's view the summary. Altogether, I'm relatively happy with this game. Of course, a pretty <laughs> unexpected 5k in Hong Kong. Um, how did you like the game? How did you like the video? I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye bye.